Do you know what I call them here? Radio. It's a radio, right? So it's a normal radio. We've got a battery, we've got a, some solar power radio. Now, have you imagined you can have a radio without power? Those that you can listen to without using any energy, wow. using any battery. So today I'm going to share with you my hobby of making this type of radio, called crystal radios. How I enjoy it, how it works, and how it benefits me. Ten years ago, when I was still a kid, I looked at the book. Because <laughs> they're talking about this type of radio that can power without battery. I was so amazed. I tried to find some component like this one, tried to hook it up together. To my disappointment, it didn't work. At that time, there's no one to talk to. I don't have people like Alex, who's an engineer who knows everything. So I have to keep up. But last year, I look at a YouTube video. It's this amazing radio again. It can uh, function without battery. So it stirred up my um, interest to do that again. I've made over 20 crystal radios since then. And I've even entered into one of the competitions that uh, they make crystal radios. I didn't win anything, but I enjoyed this very much. I still remember the first night when I hooked up the radio and I listened to the first broadcast coming out from the station. It's really, really overjoyed. I couldn't sleep that night. So, let me share with you what is a crystal radio. Going back to the histories, uh, 60, 70 years ago, the first type of radio is very big. They are very hot, use a lot of power. Um, they use vacuum tubes to power them. These tubes are so big and hot, so that's why we consume a lot of energy. However, one day, some guy discovered that if you take out the ground and you <coughs> discover this crystal, you can actually make a radio that works, that is so small and that doesn't use power. So this created the first crystal radio. And then as technology advanced, the function of a crystal was replaced by something even better, called the diode. So we have a germanium crystal inside that glass tube. And that will help you to uh, make this crystal radio work. So you may wonder how a crystal radio actually is made up. It's made up of four things. So you have an antenna, which is pretty long, like more than 10 meters. You can hang it from a tree to another tree. Then you have a, a ground connection. Usually it's the same as connecting to your water pipe, because the water pipe goes into the earth. Then you have this uh, thing called a diode. I've got a small piece here. It looks like this. You may not see it, but uh, after the break, you can come over and, and show you. And then we have this headphone, like this one. This headphone. So this type of radio can only listen to one station because there's no way you can tune to a different station. So to include that, you can add two more things. You can add a coil, uh, like this one. Coil is a circle of wires. And you can add a tuner, something that looks like this. So you can tune change the way the station will respond and you can tune to your station. So there are two types of crystal radios. One goes are fixed it, as we talked about, it connect to your antenna and your water pipe, but because they are so connected you can't move around. And then someone very clever invented something different. It's called a portable crystal radio. I've got one here. So it's a hula loop where you wind seven turns of wire inside, putting the same tuning uh, capacitor, which is smaller. Then you can bring it out, go down to the street, and listen to the radio. It doesn't do. <laughs> Plug your headset and listen to the radio. And of course, we have something else like a 
like a hat. Uh, you can make a hat radio, put it on, and then you can also listen to the radio. And I made something also very small. It's a following catalog radio. So don't don't think that it's a signal. You need to spend hours to run the test. And I've taught a uh, uh, a, a second semester graduate to make this radio as for a personal statement for a, a university interview in UK. Because of this, she was considered to be accepted. So I can't do a demonstration today because uh, uh, we have not set up However, you can refer to this link, uh, crystalradio.cn is the forum that I go to to look at all the crystal radio discussions and also uh, my personal blog where I post all my constructions. So making crystal radio is one of my hobbies. I find that uh, it's much better than watching TV because you, you, you create something and you can always satisfy your inner drive for creativity and, and accomplishment. And like uh, Rick said, playing will allow you to uh, regain that uh, stamina for work. So I keep telling my boss I take this the way we never can be the team. <laughs> <laughs> so today we've gone through my hobby, how to make a crystal radio, and why I enjoy it, and what it can benefit me. Do you have a hobby? If you don't get one quickly, I think your life will change. Thank you.